Welcome to the Roselle Mutual Insurance Game of the Week. The South Central Calhoun Titans are set to host the Kemper Knights this evening in what has evolved into a fun little rivalry between these two area teams. It's the Roselle Mutual Insurance Game of the Week. Both teams are coming off convincing Week 1 victories, 27-3 over St. Albert for the Knights and 44 to nothing over East Sac for the Titans. Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. Roselle Mutual goes the extra mile for our customers. Our fast, friendly service is sure to score extra points with you. We partner with Grinnell Mutual to provide a great defense for your home, auto, and business. Roselle Mutual is a proud supporter of all of our local athletes. Call us today at 792-4525 to join our team of customers and score some quality insurance. Insuring what's important to you, Roselle Mutual. Our goal at McFarland Clinic is to provide accessible, high quality of care. Did you know you can schedule appointments online 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Visit schedule.mcfarlandclinic.com to choose your doctor, view appointment types, and select a time to be seen. When sick or injured, McFarland Urgent Care offers convenient, extended hours Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Schedule online at schedule.mcfarlandclinic.com. Mackey Motors has been serving Lake City and the surrounding areas for over 50 years, and their number one goal is customer satisfaction. Whether you come in to purchase a new Chevy or Buick, or certified used vehicle from their knowledgeable staff, or get an oil change in their quick lube, a tune-up in their service department, or have some body work done in their state-of-the-art facility, you, the customer, are still their number one concern. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City, a proud supporter of all area high school athletics. Ball is teed up at the 40. Zane Newbaum will put the right foot into it, an end over end kick, and that's a touchback. And the Knights will take it at their own 20 yard line. Kenobi and Huge back the receivers, one on each side out of the shotgun. It'll be Cole Collison. He'll roll out to his right, looking down the field. Plenty of time. It's caught, intercepted. It'll be picked off and returned to the 20 yard line. Josh Kinkinius, the senior, picks it off and gives South Central Calhoun's offense. Fantastic field position. Just a few plays into their own first drive, the Titans had take advantage of the Kemper mistake. To Meyer, Meyer gets through the linebacker. One man to beat to the end zone. It's a touchdown from 23 yards out. And it was the turnover that set up the great field position. Keegan Meyer with his second touchdown run of the season. Kemper is held to another three and out, giving the dangerous Titans offense the ball again with a seven point lead. On the play for Corey, it'll be uh, third down and 10 from their own 37 yard line. Over the middle, Shy it's Dagger. caught. Shy Dagger's got lots of running room across the 30, 20. Big, big block. The flag down on the far side, Ron. I know there was a big block around the 25. Oh, I don't know. I'm wondering if they're going to call that a little bit. Maybe block it. Block the back. 5.08 to go first quarter. Corey out of the shotgun. Brennan Holder to his right. He'll stay back to block. Pass down the near side. It's tipped oh. up. Almost caught despite the dip. They were looking for Sleisman inside the 15. He shoves off a defender after the play, and it's fourth down and 10. Special teams would be a huge factor in this contest, starting with South Central Calhoun. He will boot it away with the left foot. Spiraling oh. kick, and that will oh. roll into the end zone, or did they oh, stop yeah. it at the one? They do. Yeah. Inside the one, Cole Corey, 37 yards on the punt. With their backs to the wall, Kemper was stuck yet again. Allison wants to throw it. They'll air it out over the near side. That was well overthrown as it'll be Collison keeping it up the middle, pushing his way forward, trying to gain a few yards. Collison turns around, hands it off. Berg shakes off one tackler, almost shakes off the second. Third down and 10 for the ninth out of the pistol. All right, Collison chased down. He's going to be sacked all the way back inside the five. 
After dominating field position the whole first quarter, South Central Calhoun was able to put more points on the board. 7-0 Titans, a high half, but the cut kick from Newbaum, and he flips the upright 10-0 South Central Calhoun with the 10-0 lead early on second quarter. With Kemper down at 10 to nothing early in the second quarter, the rest of the first half turned into a battle in the trenches. South Central Calhoun capitalized on every Kemper mistake. This was no different. For receivers, oh, it's a pitch back to Berg. He's on the ground. Berg tries to scoop it up. It's picked up by Hintinius. That's going to be down to the about three yard line. And on first down and goal, they give it to Schleisman, and Schleisman pulls through defenders toward the goal line, and he is in from three yards out. Touchdown, Landon Schleisman. With the grudge match of the first half continuing, the Knights were giving signs of hope before half. It's in motion, they fake it to him, give it to Berg. Berg's got some running room, and he's got the first down. Carrying a defender out across the 35 to the 40. He carried Scheidegger about seven yards. Collison out of the shotgun. Burke to his right. Quick screen pass near side. Hawk cap gets the block and he's out towards the 40. Rolls out to his left. Looking to throw over the middle. It's caught, but the defense makes the catch. Picked off, thrown into triple coverage. And it's Chase Scheidegger. A late flag comes in. Five receivers airing it out near sideline to the end zone. It'll be picked off. It'll be picked off, and the touchback as he's tackled. Truman Hawkeye. Truman Hawkeye. Collison over the middle, looking for Gunnarsson. Wide open, still on his feet, dragging a defender. And it will be fourth down and short inside the 15. Collison will line up under center. 39 seconds left, first quarter. Collison looking. Throwing at the six, oh, Collison yep. to oh. Gunnarsson, and Gunnarsson, he gets tripped up. And I don't think he got and it. This is my one. Yep. Halftime score from Lake City, South Central Calhoun, 17, Kemper Catholic, nothing. Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. Roselle Mutual goes the extra mile for our customers. Our fast, friendly service is sure to score extra points with you. We partner with Grinnell Mutual to provide a great defense for your home, auto, and business. Roselle Mutual is a proud supporter of all of our local athletes. Call us today at 792-4525 to join our team of customers and score some quality insurance. Ensuring what's important to you, Roselle Mutual. Our goal at McFarland Clinic is to provide accessible, high quality of care. Did you know you can schedule appointments online 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Visit schedule.mcfarlandclinic.com to choose your doctor, view appointment types, and select a time to be seen. When sick or injured, McFarland Urgent Care offers convenient, extended hours Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Schedule online at schedule.mcfarlandclinic.com. Mackey Motors has been serving Lake City and the surrounding areas for over 50 years, and their number one goal is customer satisfaction. Whether you come in to purchase a new Chevy or Buick, or certified used vehicle from their knowledgeable staff, or get an oil change in their quick lube, a tune-up in their service department, or have some body work done in their state-of-the-art facility, you, the customer, are still their number one concern. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City, a proud supporter of all area high school athletics. A pick, a fumble, and a costly turnover on downs was the difference in the first half, but there was plenty of time for the Knights to mount a comeback. The Knights forced the opening drive punt and looked to start the second half strong. Four receivers, they hand it off to Berg. Berg sheds a few tacklers, still moving oh. across the 40, and he's hit hard. Kemper was feeling the momentum early in the third and rolled the dice hoping for something to go their way. Each side, a couple of tight ends, one to each side as well. Pistol for Collison, under pressure, flushed out left side, stiff arm, 
looking, throwing. The Titans made the Knights pay for the turnover on downs, extending their lead on a demanding drive down the field. It's McAllister looking for a block, and he's into the end zone. He got the block he needed out front from Jacob Schultz, and he takes it in from 18 yards out. The Knights were starting to move the ball early in the fourth quarter when yet again disaster struck. Under pressure, now he'll take off and run. Nice block from his receiver, Collison, all kinds of running room. Inside the 10, hit hard at the 5. And Collison, Collison hit hard. hard. He, uh, he got slammed into the fence down here. With a... Collison's return would prove to be much needed as the quarterback was able to find his big tight end on a huge fourth and goal. Fourth and goal from the four, 9.03 to play in the ballgame. Collison to the end zone looking for Gunnarsson and it's a touchdown. Tonight struck once again, but they would need some aggressive play and some luck in order to escape Lake City with a victory. And he'll boot his right foot into it. It's kind of a squib onside and... Hunter Boyd is there first, and I was, Wagner was the, uh, he was the only one that had a chance at it. Yeah. The night would prove to be the Titans as they found the end zone one more time following the missed onside kick. Corey hands it off to Holder, and Holder has the first down and more across the 30, 25, 22, oh. still broke, he broke free, and he's angling for the pylon, he's in for the touchdown, 33, I think the Knights almost started following the wrong guy out of a, out of a, a pile up and Holder squeezed out the other side for 33 yards in the score. The Titans were dominant all night long, looking like a dominant 1A power for the 2019 season. Tonight as South Central Calhoun picks up the convincing win at home over the Kemper Knights, 30 to six the final score. Thank you for watching this week's Roselle Mutual Game of the Week recap. Make sure to stay tuned all year for high school football coverage. Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. Roselle Mutual goes the extra mile for our customers. Our fast, friendly service is sure to score extra points with you. We partner with Grinnell Mutual to provide a great defense for your home, auto, and business. Roselle Mutual is a proud supporter of all of our local athletes. Call us today at 792-4525 to join our team of customers and score some quality insurance. Ensuring what's important to you, Roselle Mutual. Our goal at McFarland Clinic is to provide accessible, high quality of care. Did you know you can schedule appointments online 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Visit schedule.mcfarlandclinic.com to choose your doctor, view appointment types, and select a time to be seen. When sick or injured, McFarland Urgent Care offers convenient, extended hours Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Schedule online at schedule.mcfarlandclinic.com. Mackey Motors has been serving Lake City and the surrounding areas for over 50 years, and their number one goal is customer satisfaction. Whether you come in to purchase a new Chevy or Buick, or certified used vehicle from their knowledgeable staff, or get an oil change in their quick lube, a tune-up in their service department, or have some body work done in their state-of-the-art facility, you, the customer, are still their number one concern. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City, a proud supporter of all area high school athletics.